My point is that we were zigging while the mainstream was zagging. We find this with the great resignation uh, as the Wall Street Journal and other folks have called it, where all these people are quitting their jobs. But now they don't necessarily have the skill set, as I talk about in Career Remix, to move on to the next job because they weren't building those skill sets when that writing was on the wall. My name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, and otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Today we're going to talk about Warren Buffett and one of his most famous quotes about zigging when people zag, zagging when people zig, and so forth. This not only will help your financial picture, which has seemed to work out pretty well for Mr. Buffett, but also will help your creative picture and how you impact the world. If you like content related to side hustling, solopreneurs, creating your debt and making your debt in the world, be sure to subscribe to the Bring Your Worth channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. And if you're liking it, be sure to like, be sure to share, get other people involved because if you're trying to change your career, change the world, remix your career, as I talk about my new book, then you're going to need other people to support you. Make your team. All right, so Warren Buffett. He has this fabulous quote, I think about it all the time, it really was informative in my career. He says that when other people are fearful, be greedy. And when other people are greedy, be fearful. Warren Buffett is uh, the head of Berkshire Hath Hathaway. Hath Her Hathaway? It's not Ann Hathaway. It's not other Hathaway. But he's, he's in charge of one of the biggest funds. It might be the biggest fund, definitely the highest performing fund, I believe, in the history of America, at least. I can't speak for over, overseas. So he knows how to stretch a buck. He knows how to invest. He's become a little bit more conservative. He's gotten older because things are getting a little bit different right now. But he's still considered a legend. This quote means a lot of different things. In short, it means that when the mainstream is really worried about the future of things, that's when you start to invest. If everyone's saying everything's gonna be perfect, what they call in the stock market euphoria, then that means that you pull back and be thoughtful about your next moves. This, again, makes a really good impact as far as your finances, but also makes an impact in your career. I'm gonna explain two reasons why. First of all, you always wanna be building from now. It's the name of my recent book called Built From Now. It took a long time to think about the title. That's why it's called Built From Now. The essence of building from now means that you're creating, you're contributing no matter what else is going on. You're always building. You're always, as I talk about in a recent video, you're always claiming your land. You don't want to be renting your land from someone else. You want to be owning the land that you actually have. You want it to be in your name. You want to be building your particular idea. You can call it your brand, your impact on the world. You want that to be a regular process. Um, a friend of mine named uh, Srinivas Rao, he has a really good book, actually a couple of good books, but the best way to learn more about him is on the Unmistakable podcast. I've actually been on a couple episodes. I'll throw a link up over here. <laughs> I always forget which side because it mirrors. But what he talks about is surfing. He's an avid surfer. And he talks about how if you see a wave that's starting to crest, then it's already too late to catch the wave. I don't surf, so I'm taking his word for it. <laughs> but if you start to see the inkling of a wave, or if you're already, more importantly, heading out off the wake, then you'll be able to catch that wave as it starts. And by the time you're there, you'll be able to fulfill that wave, get into the crescent, whatever terms surfers <laughs> use, and to fully take advantage of it. We find this so often. I found this in a personal example with my work that I do with side hustlers, solopreneurs, and so forth. I've been doing this work since I became a side hustler, well, many years ago. My biggest side hustle was an app called Cuddler. Uh, uh, my uh, two colleagues and I started a company back in 2014. It was an app to connect people for hugs in the vein of Tinder and Grindr, but a platonic version of that. That became really popular. We had a quarter million users at our peak. We're on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. We ended up selling it about a year after we launched. This is at the exact same time that I was, became primary caretaker of my wife and I's first baby. Therefore, I had no choice but, to, but for it to be a side hustle. We launched the app. People, think that, people thought that it was a crazy idea because they didn't think that people needed to physically connect. We're still in an era, pre-pandemic, where physical connection was, was uh, undervalued. 
But I saw the value in that. My background is journalism. I used to write for Playboy and other publications. I've written books about technology and how it can facilitate intimacy. So I was able to see that as a co-founder. Again, we had a quarter million users. If we waited until the public said, oh yeah, we need physical connection, like during a pandemic, then we would have missed that wave. The second part about it though, is that we were investing in it at a time when people weren't interested in our idea. If you're trying to make an impact on the world, listen to my words really carefully. If you're trying to make an impact on the world, then that means that you want the world to be different than the way it is right now. The way the world is right now is based on how everyone else thinks. So how are you gonna make an impact on the world if you're following the mainstream? I think Warren Buffett would probably call this and other investors would call this mitigated risk. So you do your side hustles, you do your, as Peter Sam says, you do your small bets. You do these little, little actions that test your theories. You don't have to go all in. Do things that are against the grain. If you have a particular vision and you want to make an impact on the world, how are you gonna make the impact on the world if you're doing what everyone else does? You have to zig when other people are zagging. You have to zag when other people are zigging. Number two, you have to invest when no one is watching, when no one's paying attention to you. That means, again, you're zigging when other people are zagging. That means people might even look at you like you had something wrong with you as you're doing your deep work, as Cal Newport would say, but then that deep work ends up paying off later. I give a much deeper example of my new book, Career Remix. You can pre-order it at mycareerremix.com. It's coming out January 11th, 2022. We're working on this for years. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy the book. But I give a much deeper version of the story <clears throat> where there were so many of us as professional public speakers who obviously when the pandemic hit with coronavirus 19 or COVID-19, then we couldn't be on the road anymore. So we had to make a decision. We had to either learn how to do this virtual speaking, as they used to call it, and connect with people this way, or we go and trust it, sit on the sidelines and say, you know what? <clears throat> the pandemic's not gonna last forever. It'll be a quick thing. I'll go and get back on the road and make my money that way when I go back in person. Well, we thought things were gonna be wrapped up in a few months, then it being year, going on two years now and it's still going. In that meantime, I started this YouTube channel with a Bring Your Worst show. Thank you all for joining me. I'm doing my 150th episode. It might even be this one. I don't know, I'm losing count, but celebrate with me. But this started during the pandemic. A lot of people that I respect that um, are uh, public speakers on a much higher tier as far as audience, as far as pay, they start doing more per, per virtual speaking. And in fact, some of them, including myself, are getting paid as much for virtual speaking as we would for in-person speaking. But that required us investing in the lighting setup, investing in learning YouTube, investing in updating our website, all these little details at a period of time when a lot of us were just waiting for this thing to be over. My point is that we were zigging while the mainstream was zagging. We find this with the great resignation uh, as the Wall Street Journal and other folks have called it, where all these people are quitting their jobs. But now they don't necessarily have the skill set, as I talk about in Career Remix, to move on to the next job because they weren't building those skill sets when that writing was on the wall. It could have been the pandemic, it could have been the recession that happened when I was in grad school in the 2000s, and in 2008, it happened uh, fairly recently with the pandemic. They're all opportunities for us to build again from now and create when we are not forced against the wall. That's how you prosper. The reason why this YouTube channel is doing well with Bring Your Worth is because I did it when it wasn't absolutely necessary. I did it because I felt like this is the next level to go to. I didn't do it from a place of desperation. So many folks are trying to learn these new skill sets as they talk about in Career Remix, but then they're up against the wall. That's because they're waiting for everyone else to zag when they should have been zagging in the first place. This isn't a judgment on you or even on me for some of the things that I might have passed. But if we take this Warren Buffett quote to heart, that means that we need to go ahead and rest and get our stuff together while other people are going crazy thinking everything's gonna be fine. And that means that when people think that everything is going to poop, to shit, <laughs> then that's the time for us to invest in ourselves, 
and look towards a brighter day. If we create when other people are fearful, then we have this opportunity to really make an impact on the world. All those times that I went with the mainstream didn't quite work out for me. Let me know how it's going on for you in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you're liking this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'm here with you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Vegas time. And be sure to subscribe over at youtube.com slash You can click the link. I think it's gonna be over here for you. So feel free to click that link. Also too, feel free to check out my playlist. I have um, three or four different playlists that are happening. I'm actually gonna be building a new one based on my new book, Career Remix, which again is coming out uh, January 11th, 2022. Be sure and pre-order at the links that you'll see below. And I'll also be having playlists related to passive income and related to good habits as far as being creators. Be sure to check them out. It's always free. Until next time, much love. Be sure to bring your worth and remember that you can always build from now. Take care.